In recent years, a new computer language has been invented. It's called XML. It's essentially been invented to help streamline not only the web, but also applications. It stands for Extensible Markup Language. That's probably all you'll ever really need to know about it, but the fact is, is that many manufacturers and software developers are using it to help make their programs run better. And there's no better example than Microsoft Office 2007. Here we're looking at a Microsoft Word document. Typically in the past, when you saved a Word document, it would be saved as a, the name that you gave it, and then an extension, three letters, DOC. And if you used Microsoft Excel, it did the same thing, but the extension was .xls. Well, now you're going to see in Microsoft Office 2007, those same documents being saved with different extensions, .docx and .xlsx. So what it's doing is saving in that XML format. Previously, it was saving in a binary format, which you don't really need to know, but by saving in XML, Microsoft is able to take advantage of and deliver new features such as data file recovery. You can actually go back to previous saved versions of your document without having to have, say, another differently named saved version. It simply goes into the same document and can retrieve old information, which is great if you've accidentally saved over top of a document you didn't mean to change. In addition, it can deal with compression, file saving. Using zip technology and XML, it can save these documents up to 75% smaller in its size. So if you want to have more room on your computer for things like photographs and video, your Word documents and Excel documents are going to be a lot smaller. Keep your eyes out. Don't worry if you have an older version of Microsoft Office because there is a plug-in to be able to get that file format read on the older computers. But if you are in the new version of Office, you're going to really start to enjoy the XML technology.